What is up guys, gals, and all you awesome, awesome minions of different shapes and sizes. Some of you like to wear blue, some of you like to wear black, some of you like to wear the blood of your enemies. But you're all still equally just as awesome as the other. It is me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy, bringing you some more Doom open beta gameplay today. And this is actually going to be the last open beta video for quite a while until the full release of the game next month, which I'm so uberly excited about because I've been loving, loving playing this game so much. It was just so fun. It was just so much fun. And you know what? Why not go out with a giant ass bang? Was that a double kill? <laughs> That was like pure luck, and I just got a domino affected double kill with a super shotgun. That is what I'm talking about. Now, throughout this entire open beta, the one thing that I dreamed about, the one thing that I was guiding myself to trying to do, was to kill a revenant by meleeing it. So what I ended up doing in this video, this is the last match I ever did, and I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead, I'm gonna have some fun, I'm gonna get my revenant kill, and I'm gonna back out, because I played this game to death, I played so much of it, but I wanted to give you a little bit, a little taste of the open beta through these four videos just so then you can see what it's all about and see what kind of stuff we're going to be covering once the game hits its main release. Now, again, love the game. It's, it's that thing about how it's it's so simplistic where it's all about just having fun. It's But at the same time, it's got very immense amounts of tacticalness to it where you've got to collect the armor. You've got to kind of like have that thing where you know that when you're confronting someone, you want to be the best that you can be. You don't want to be going in there with only like five health or so. There's no regeneration in this. It's all about actually finding health like the good old days. You know, like how in Quake Free Arena or in Unreal Tournament, how you have to go collect the armor shards. You have to go collect the health pieces you have to do that in this game and I really really miss that. Comment section below do you like that style of gameplay or do you prefer health regen say like in Halo which actually takes it a little bit further which kind of annoyed me because even though I like Halo 5's multiplayer quite a bit the one thing that really bugs me is that you have to end up like doing the whole you have to have your health recharge and then you have to have your shield recharge but you can't have those things recharge if you're running which kind of really annoyed me. Another thing to point out that this isn't the BFG which I actually mentioned in the the last video. It's actually called the Gore's Rifle. Now here we go, going for that Revenant kill. Oh, it's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> Was that a roundhouse kick? That looked like a roundhouse kick, baby. And then I became the Revenant itself. Time to pwn. And I actually do two different Revenant kills in this. So in a way, you're getting just like twice as much awesomeness here. But comment section below, let me know what do you think this gameplay? I would love, love, love to know. I like to try and keep the Revenant away from the other team as much as possible. Play it safe while also pwning as much as well. <laughs> Whoops, so much but It is a shame that you can't keep the Gauze Rifle with you even when you take the Revenant the kind of like power. You have to kind of like exchange one for the other and drop it on the floor. So there were times where I would end up getting the Revenant and then protecting the Gauze Rifle for my team. It's just one of those things, but also the Gauze Rifle is incredibly powerful against the Revenant, so use that to take it down, especially if you want to become that thing yourself. It's just awesome. It's just powerful. I love it. One thing I've noticed there, look, is that there are actually challenges in this game, and I wonder what the challenges actually unlock. Because you do already have kind of like character skins, patterns, taunts already in the game. So I wonder what kind of things you unlock through those challenges, like what kind of like other taunts and other skins that you get. Because if you do pre-order this game, you do get like a demonic hell armor as like a DLC. So I'm wondering if maybe you can unlock that kind of stuff. You know, maybe that's like an early access kind of thing where you can unlock that later on or something, but it makes you wonder what kind of costumes you can get because you look like a standard, like, Doom Guy soldier in the multiplayer. So I wonder if maybe you can actually become, like, you know, like in Halo as well, where, like, one team would play as the Spartans and one team would play as, like, elites. So it makes you wonder if you can do those kind of things too. Very, very curious. Oh. I'm missing this game already. It's been so long since I played it. <laughs> but let me know, did you actually play the open beta? What did you think to it? Is it your kind of, your cup of tea? Like, as I mentioned, you like the idea of kind of, oh my god, someone just bear hugged me to death. That, that actually kind of looked kind of painful. But do you like that idea of collecting armor and health and that thing of that, if you only have like five health left, someone's going to go around and pwn you because it is kind of like 50-50. It is very niche. It's kind of like very based on your own preference. A lot of people now are very used to kind of like health regeneration and that whole thing of like just staying still and camping and stuff. You cannot camp in this game. That is one thing that I really, really appreciate is that because you actually have a health system in this, if someone shoots you, you will turn around and react to it. You know, like in like Call of Duty or Battlefield, you'll end up kind of getting shot and you'll just die because the characters just don't have that much health but they can regenerate it still. While in this you have a lot of health and a lot of armor but you don't regenerate it so you have to kind of go collect it again. Which I kind of like so it means that if someone does try and like camp you, 
they can't really do it per se because you're still able to turn around and react in time to actually get a little bit of damage on them. I don't know where they are. And I like that. I really, really appreciate that. I like as well that it makes you run around as well. Like, you have to collect the armor, you have to collect the health, you have to be tactical, as I mentioned before. It's not this thing of just staying in one place and, like, or, like, staying in a specific area. If you don't have health, you've got to be moving. You've got to stay on the move if you want to, like, stay ahead of the game and stay alive. Here we go. Same place as well, which is kind of interesting. Oh my goodness! Kneecapped! <laughs> I like he was in the exact same corridor. It's as if it was meant to be, in a way. I'm not too sure about that. But still, let me know what you think about this game. I would love, love, love to know. And I will see you on the full release of Doom in May. It's going to be so awesome. I'm so very, very excited. I would love to know your excitement. Or maybe not your excitement. I mean, what kind of game are you prefer to maybe be excited about instead? Let me know. I would love, love, love to know. And maybe we'll talk about it in the next video when Doom comes out. But either way, it's been me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy. And I will see you all next time. Ciao for now.